me better when I was yours. I'm going back, I'm going back, I'm going back, I'm going, I'm going back, I'm going, I'm going back to who I was before. Hey guys and welcome and or welcome back to my channel. So I am back with another video on a makeup product that's actually intrigued me that has not happened very often in the last few months. But I saw it and I was like, I wonder how that works. So I picked up, so you want to know what I'm talking about then, let's go. So this is the new Milk Makeup Hydro Grip Eye Primer. I'm sure you've heard of the famous Hydro Grip Primer for the face. They came out with this. I was like, okay, that's cool. You know, I don't really care about eye primer. But what intrigued me is that this is also described as a concealer primer. I don't think I've ever heard or tried that before. So I was like, let me look into this. So this retails for $24. It says an invisible hydrating primer for eyeshadow and under eye concealer that smooths skin and locks down color to prevent creasing, fading, and smudging. Finish is natural. Skin type is normal oily dry combination. Mm, what else you need to know? 93% natural. Transparent formula works across all skin tones to create a smooth base around the eyes and boost the color of eyeshadow and eyeliner. Where's the how to use section? Let's go to that for concealer. No, I don't care about that. Um, apply a thin layer onto clean eyelids, under eyes, and inner corners, then blend with fingertips. Allow formula to dry down completely to activate grit before applying eye makeup or concealer. It can be used with powder or cream formula. So I'm like, I'm going to try this as concealer primer. Does it go on top of foundation? I don't really put foundation in this area anyway, but it's like, cause you know what I'm saying? It, you put the Hydro Grip face primer on your entire face, which is gonna include your under eye, right? So it's like, what's the difference if this goes under foundation? So I'm gonna try, I'm gonna try it on top of foundation to see what it says. And let's hope for the best to have to film another video after this. So I'm gonna quickly run through primer, which of course is Hydro Grip. Oh, it's on top of the powder foundation that I showed you in my go-to go, go routine. I guess I'll do it on just one side of my face to see if I notice. A difference so, yeah I'm a just I'm it okay okay I'm confused how much are you supposed to actually put on so, I don't know what's happening right now so that's why I don't know what I'm doing um but I've got that, um, it certainly doesn't feel like, um, the, well, at least through the brush on my face, it doesn't feel like the regular Hydro Grip. It said wait a little bit, you know, for that tackiness and then blend out. Y'all know I don't like using my fingers, so I'm just gonna use a brush to blend that in. But that's what it looks like so far. Okay, well, while it dries down, waiting for that tackiness to activate, I guess, um, having it on the face, do you see a difference between the prime side and that, listen, weirdest product I've tried in a minute, but all that matters is how I look by the end of this video. We're just, we're just going with the flow at this point, y'all. So I'm gonna apply concealer. Blend that out, see what happens. Right. 
Okay, so this is what it looks like with the concealer blended in, primer, no primer. You let me know if you see anything. I'm gonna go ahead and finish the rest of my face. So this will be my face for the day. I feel like I see a slight something, like a slight difference between the side with primer and the side with no primer. Like, y'all let me know if you see something, but it says it's supposed to help with like creasing and whatnot. So I'm going to go for the day and check back in later. It is 11.26. Let's see how this goes. All right, y'all, so it is 4.02. This is my face is looking like. I'm not sure if you were catching on earlier on in the video. I wasn't that sold. One, I didn't really know what I was doing. Um, of course, now is when. I didn't really know what I was doing putting this on. It was just, you know, a trial and error. And then I was like, I don't know if I see a difference, but hello. I think I'm seeing a difference now, hours later after having it on my face, especially oil control, which Hydro Gift is, it's the reason why I like using um, that primer. It's usually good with uh, with oil control. I have oily skin, so you know I need some type of mattness and stuff like that in there. Hello, this side of my face compared to this one. What concealer did I use today? Oh, I use the ColourPop um, Hyaluronic Acid uh, Concealer. This side compared to this, mind you, I have the the milk primer, like everywhere I would put concealer on this side of my face. So like literally down the middle, cause you know, you put concealer here and here as well. So like I have it here and I have it here. And even looking like here compared to here, you see how it's matte. You can probably see exactly where I dance <laughs> the primer on, on my face. And then as far as like creasing goes, hello. Hello. I mean, I'm still creasing here ish in my I didn't really put it that much down here, but especially like I know this is a um concealer primer, but I wonder like as far as smile lines go if you put it there, but I see something the no no primer side. Come on lighting, don't put it at me. Primer side. Listen, I mean, milk, they, they don't really be missing with their products. So I'm not really surprised. Um, I was gonna say something. So I I am gonna continue using it because I like it. I like how this is looking on the face. Do I think it's necessary though? No, I don't. I think, you know, you can, get, you can continue on with your face, um, with your normal routine if you want to. And it'll you can still have nice outcomes just getting the, the regular products that you want on your face um because i know a lot of people don't want like extra steps like some people want less steps right like show me how i can use like less foundation so that mind you um before did i just zoom that in sorry y'all lately i haven't been using foundation when i go out i just use concealer and bronzer so that's another reason why i want to try this out because i was like especially for those days where i'm just wearing concealer if this can give me like an even more flawless look with no foundation i'm all the way here so i'm gonna have to try that out i'll probably let y'all know how that goes in like a vlog or something i'm definitely I'm, I'm definitely gonna have to try that out now um that's one of the reasons why i wanted to try this but i don't think you know like you need it because a lot of people don't want like even more steps even more products that they have to buy but i don't regret buying it okay because <laughs> hello okay okay milk to me did what they had to do i am going to continue using this uh i have to remember to let you all know how this goes with just concealer on the face um and yeah, probably keep playing around with how to apply this as well. Like try it under foundation, I don't know. But for the first trial run here, gets a thumbs up for me. So I hope seeing me test this out has helped. If any of you were thinking of checking this out for yourself, um, let me know in the comments your thoughts. I just like the, the idea of this product. Make sure to thumbs up, comment, subscribe, turn notification bells, all of that down below. Thank you all for watching. I will see you in the next one. Bye. Thank you.